We've touched on cybersecurity issues so many times here on Smile, and now with screen time on the increase and interactions being mainly web-based, we're now more susceptible than ever before to cybercrime because, trust me, hackers do not sleep, and they're loving every moment of this era right now. So here to help you tighten up your online movements is Chief Executive Officer of T-Tech Limited, Christopher Record. Good morning, Chris. Welcome Good to Smile morning. Jamaica. Thank you. Good morning. Morning, Chris. How are you? Welcome into my living. Welcome into my dining room. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, with so many people now online and, and, and it's happening so hastily, um, I don't think people had the chance to do the necessary checks to set up what they needed to set up at home. So tell me now, what are some of the security risks that, that we may or may not be vulnerable to? Well, it depends on your situation. Are you a solopreneur or are you working with a small organization or, or small mid-sized organization? So one of the first things is to check with your organization's policies. What are the mobile take-home policies? Um, most organizations of any, uh, of, of, of any substance should have some sort of a policy around um, how you treat with mobile devices when you're taking them home for, for home use. So first thing is to check with that. Now, if you're a solopreneur and you, you know, you're kind of juggling on your own, um, most, most entrepreneurs kind of sort of had the work from home or work from the cafe, coffee shop vibe kind of going on already. And so these guys are a little bit more vigilant around connecting to free Wi-Fi or connecting to Wi-Fi that is not um, you know, something very, very secure. So it's just being way more vigilant in what you're clicking on these days because there's a whole, there's, there's a massive increase globally on cybersecurity threats related to COVID-19 because every, every, every hacker is out there is trying to use this pandemic um, to, 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 layer, to layer security issues and, and threats within emails and stuff that they're sending out in terms of those um, type of blasts. So vigilancy is of the utmost uh, requirement now. So let's talk about some of those um, increased attacks. We see reports of people using a particular type of software and their meetings being recorded. Um, are there instances of phishing emails increasing? Tell me, tell me what's, what, are, what are organizations seeing, Chris? And are a lot of people calling organizations like yours now to say, well, we're never ready. Please help us. Yes, so we have received, uh, so, so, you know, very, very grateful for the calls we've been getting. We are, um, our, our team has been very busy putting a number of organizations online, um, helping them to work remotely, securely. So what's been happening is, um, yes, we have read some of those reports also. Um, I won't call any names as to which application or which application is, is, is up or down, but the fact is that, um, there are some applications that are a little bit, little bit more susceptible to cybersecurity uh, or privacy. Let's, let's not say cybersecurity, but security and privacy um, privacy concerns as, as their use. Uh, one such organization moved from having 10 million persons online per day to 200 million um, per day. So wow. all of a sudden, with that new normal, that organization themselves was being prepared for it. Now, for the last week, they have um, they have uh, really and truly uh, done a lot of work. They have um, updated their their, their software, um, sent out new releases. So, as I said earlier, um, the key thing is understanding that um, you have to you have to work in a way that is almost like somebody else is over your shoulder looking at what you're doing. So, be careful any type of content you're putting out there. Um, of course, one of the things you have to make sure is that you you continuously, in this time more than ever, you back up um, a fair amount, but keep backing up, back up the, the, the laptop or portable device that you have with you, and also ensure that you have more than one copies of that, of that backup of that software. Yes, a lot more phishing emails, a lot more malware or cybersecurity attacks are happening globally right now around the fact that people's fears and everyone wants to know the latest information on COVID. And every time that there's an opportunity for, oh, there seems to be a, 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 someone is, is reporting some new potential cure, then people are just going to click on all of that stuff. And so the whole idea is, is that you have to get a level of calm. We have to try to reduce the anxiety and just turn off 
some of that. Um, I, I, I don't want to tell you, you know, you know turn off your, your, your social and all that stuff because some people live by that and they need that. But understand that you're, you have to be looking at these emails that are coming in. If you're not coming from legitimate sources, if you didn't ask for this company to mm -hmm. send you this free report on COVID-19, then don't click on the link. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, there's also a tendency, Chris, to go seeking out apps and software that we think can protect us. And so you'll see people sending emails to say, um, use this to, to, to block malware or whatever it is. How do we know which ones are legitimate and which one? I'm guessing the free ones might not be the legitimate ones. Well, well no, not necessarily. All right, so most of the large security software manufacturers out there, um, and I'll call one or two names like uh, McAfee, Sophos, um, um, Bitdefender, most of these large organizations out there who, 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 um, who manufacture and sell malware, uh, malware detection and protection software, a number of them do have free versions because it's all marketing. The whole idea is that I want you to try my software so you can see how wonderful it is and eventually you will, um, you, you will use it. So it's not that free software is bad. This free software, um, they do give you uh, an idea of the experience of using that, um, that, uh, that software. So my recommendation would be you go to the site. Don't just take somebody's link for it. So if you do your own research, um, you go to a reputable uh, magazine, like let's say PC Magazine Online, or um, you, you have an association that you're a part of and they send out a link, you, you do the, you do the, you be the one to go out seeking for the information. So you go to McAfee.com or you go to Bitdefender.com, um, you click on the link yourself and then you, def um, then you download it. Instead of taking somebody else's email and not sure if the link that it says it is is really it is. Right. Cybersecurity and IT security awareness training is of the utmost importance. Most large and medium organizations do it. It's something that we continuously beg all our customers um, to do. And the fact of the matter is that once you go complete training like that, you have a better understanding and idea of what looks legitimate and what doesn't. You have a better idea of when you see the email, you need to move your mouse over the link read to see what on, on the link is versus what it says at the top. There's, there's lots of little different um, techniques for you to kind of figure out what is real and what is fake. Right. Um, but it, it takes takes a little bit of awareness and cybersecurity awareness training. Right, because really and truly, if they're going to get to the organization, they're going to do it through the employees. You guys always say that when you're conducting the training, so the exactly. employees have to be up on the cybersecurity training. Exactly. Um, Chris, we have to go. You've given us good advice, but there may be people who want to find out more. Um, they can just... Check you at T Tech Limited, right? T Tech, www.ttech.com.jam. Um, go on our website, lots of stuff there. Follow us on all our social media channels. Um, a key thing is that with, with work at home, understand that if it's a work related computer, you need to be the only one using it and right. not having other people using that machine. Your kids are going to be playing games. So, very important, try your very best. I know schooling at home was going on, holiday started. But that's massively important. Yes, good tip there. Thank you very much, Mr. CEO. Appreciate it. Um, no, from I'm, your I'm dining room. <laughs> yeah, fantastic rest of the week. Thank you very much. Thank you. Chief Executive Officer of T-Tech Limited, Christopher Rackett. All right, stay with us to see how one entrepreneur is lending a helping hand to the elderly. We'll be back in a bit.